This is a video for the A-level chemistry kinetics topic, starting with collision theory. What is it and how does it help us to explain rates of reaction? At GCSE, you would have used a formula that told us that to calculate mean rate of reaction, we could look at the amount of reactant used or product made divided by the time taken. And this forms the basis of the definition that we use for A-level. So at A-level, we say that the rate of reaction is the change in concentration of a substance or a reactant or a product in a unit time or a given time or per a specified unit of time like a second. In order to explain changes in reaction rate we use something called collision theory which you would have met at GCSE and what collision theory tells us is that in order to react particles need to collide and they need to have a minimum amount of energy. So the activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a successful collision. That's a collision that is going to lead to a reaction taking place. If you're looking at the energy profile for a particular reaction, then the activation energy is represented by the rise of the graph. It's the amount of energy that the reactants need to absorb in order to be able to react. The reaction won't take place until we have a successful collision. In order to increase the rate of reaction, we need to either increase the number of collisions or increase the energy of the particles so that more of the collisions that do happen are successful. There are five factors that we can manipulate if we're trying to increase the rate of reaction. We can change the pressure, which is relevant if the reactants are gases, the surface area, if they're solids, the concentration, if they're solutions, and we can also add a catalyst or raise the temperature. Just to check you've been listening, pause the video and jot down a quick definition for rate of reaction, remembering we need a proper A-level definition, not just speed, and then a definition for activation energy. So you hopefully wrote down that the rate of reaction is the change in concentration of a substance in a given amount of time or per second or something like that. And then the activation energy, just like it was at GCSE, is the minimum amount of energy that's required for a reaction to start or for a collision to be successful. The last thing we need to mention in this first section of kinetic theory is that actually for any reaction that isn't happening spontaneously and rapidly, the majority of collisions are unsuccessful. And the reason for that is that the majority of particles don't have that minimum amount of energy, the activation energy. This diagram here is something called a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, which we'll look at in much more detail in the next video. But for now, all you need to understand is it's a typical distribution that shows you within a reaction how many particles have a certain amount of energy. The area under the curve is all the particles in a reaction, and the red line represents the activation energy for this particular reaction. It can move around. So any particles in the orange segment are able to react, but all of the particles in the white segment will be unsuccessful if they collide. And as you can see from this distribution, the vast majority of particles are in that area where they can't react because the vast majority of their area under the curve is to the left of the activation energy line, not to the right. Now that you've refreshed your understanding of collision theory, we're ready to move on to Maxwell-Boltzmann distributions and the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's move on to the next video.